Greetings all, praise King Selassie. The Babylon is sophisticated. They are a powerful international group. And they operate the communication channels which function to affect the behavior. That's why behavior modification or mind control sounds crazy. And certainly, you know, people like myself are labeled conspiracy theorists when we bring this up. But that's everything that the media does. And I know that word media is unpopular due to the pedophile um, uh, beast savior operation. Yet, the media is our messages that are projected on the people that affect the way people think. And that means they're going to affect their behavior. And the object is to get others to serve you if you be at the top, and especially not for others to come and take uh, what you have acquired. Now, there is no state media in the United States. There's a media state. Now, I believe I've stated this before. I know I've wrote it, written it down. And I did hear someone say something similar the other day. But I found it necessary to reiterate this point because we're all affected by what we see. And that's going to form the basis for our little world. So we're in a media state. Now, people say, oh, big government is bad. Big government is bad. What government are they speaking about? I don't see any government really at all. Um, the United States is a type of corporation and they take capital from other corporations and they do their work, whatever it may be. Um, in the military, that's protecting assets and uh, extracting resources from impoverished nations. And, you know, it's obvious that th these kinds of things have to be done because if you look at a place like Britain where there's virtually almost no natural resources, they're not pulling oil out, um, do they have abundant sources of clean water, springs, and um, is there a lot of forest to cut down, etc. And so they have to use their system of law to get these resources from other places, including human resources. And this includes the communication channels, otherwise the media. And they function to propagate the causes of those benefactors. It's pretty simple. Now, what would a state media look like? A state media would be a government controlled uh, communication channel. Uh, North Korea has one. Probably Iran, maybe. Probably, probably China. Uh, sometimes this is like called communism. But when you think about what would a state media, what would their role be? Well, their role would be to have objective information for the public because the public pays for that department supposedly right in a real majority rule which is sometimes called democracy but the word democracy really is measly and it has no formal definition oxford might tell you something however it's not applied to the to the daily use. It, in other words, it's interpreted different by almost everyone. It can be more uh, closely referred to as democracy. And so this form of democracy that crucified the Christ, it functions to do the, uh, to set in place those standards for the cultures in accordance to the wishes of the wealthy. And 
the, these oppressive classes uh, choose not to have the communication channels projecting information that is detrimental to their operations. So the other way occurs, whereas it tends to promote the oppressive class. Doesn't tend to. It does, and it's not very obvious because that's the advancement of sophistication, whereas when you're dealing with behavior modification, the objective is to get people to not realize what's going on. Um, and then that way it's, it's effect, it is effective. Because when people are aware of uh, being manipulated, uh, they're reluctant to be, to be. And that not everyone and that's the division of philosophy that the Christ spoke about between the believers and the unbelievers. Because some believe in man and come to worship man's God, and other believe in Lord and go, I weigh. Now, if there were to be a state media and it had internet presence then it would look similar to what is being called social media platform and Facebook being the largest now Facebook is a company that didn't just come out of the dorm room of uh, the uh, CEO, Zuckerberg, um, Face Crook is a product of uh, a, a very extensive collaborated, collaborated effort on behalf of these oppressive ruling classes. And Zuckerberg, he, he may have initiated the idea but what's happened now with the digital infrastructure is that all the information is received and this is the reason why there's, an, a, it's, there's a need to uh, share the information immediately because when people are sending information through these devices it's being collected and sorted out through this AI and it is determining, you know, what is what is influential what is not what words are effective what phrases quotes and all kinds of information and then that is being applied to the media state to project what they have known the public will receive openly and therefore become influential in other words People being tracked, the information being stolen, um, and it's being used against them uh, by those that stand to benefit. And if there were to be a state media, and it was an honest government, a real government, uh, then it would uh, function unbiased and include as many people into the debate for every issue when here in the United States the, 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 the most important pressing issues are the least covered by the media state now it's not that way in every country. In Europe, Europe tends to have many more options because the, the international slave trade has brought the wealth to those areas and they are 
not willing to share it and so uh, the best way to keep people from taking your wealth is by keeping them in the dark about how you got it and even that you have it to begin with because for example Forbes magazine rates the richest people in the world well the rat childs are never on there so right away somebody needs to start asking questions and that's only one family of this Caesar rooted network so the state media you have a social media platform that is not going to cater to the wealthy um, you would have no need for these dependent radio stations that are locally functioning to defraud the community into believing that they're projecting a, re a representative position because they would be run by the government and, and the same government um, not the same government a different government but on that point these dependent radio stations you know stand by their government they stand by their government and yet which one of them would like for their government to to take over see the trick is there's no 50-50 split. The 40% donations come from their government. They get as much of the donations as they can from the whatever people in the community. And then they invest the rest. So that keeps it from the government from taking over. But those are just examples because then there would actually be equitable policies in place whereas each person would have equal opportunity over the other in this today in this world uh, people are giving their trust to those that know how to speak well, that know what to say and how to say it, and they can, you know, dress the part, and they have the support behind them, you know, crowd of people clapping and cheering for them, because that's propaganda. That's how propaganda works. And obviously in a media state, that's what you're gonna get.